Hello, my soccer universe. I'm obviously losing my mind over these years uh, semi-finals of the Europa and Europa Conference League, given that I always now strive to have all the teams that are making it to the semi-finals. Because the last time I did it was actually my first year at the channel when I didn't have an Eintracht Frankfurt shirt and I had a uh, Germany shirt standing, which actually fit quite well because there was an eagle on there. But as you may well know, and I'm shooting this now before uh, those uh, the second legs are played, there are two Belgian teams that are about to make it to the semifinals, or at least in a very good position. And so ever since Thursday evening, I have been scrambling and calling myself, you don't need to, you don't, no, uh, it's okay. Maybe if we can find something. And then I thought, yeah, Union saint Julius is such a nice story. Let's check out the jerseys. The jerseys are rather reasonably priced, and at least the European versions, I still could get for a very rather reasonable price. However, the shipping is the killer. The shirt would cost 60, but they put a 25 shipping on top of that, which honestly I'm not gonna pay uh, to neighboring countries, meaning uh, Germany, Luxembourg and France, it would be 15, so I don't understand why 25 to Austria, all the other countries, and they don't even wouldn't ship to the UK. So uh, that um, quickly fell <laughs> through in, in a way, unless maybe one of you can come up with an idea of how co I could get uh, Union saint Julius uh, jersey should they uh, asked by Leverkusen. Uh, yeah, I have to see. I am probably would have to let that slide. However, I went on Wilhaben and I got a Belgian team and the question is, am I now starting a Belgian collection? I mean, I recognize the Belgian league probably among the leagues that I don't cover, uh, the best ones still left, but how, on the other side, Belgian jerseys are really hard to get around here. I mean, that I have here um, a Belgian jersey from Wilhaven is almost beggars a little bit belief. I also had to do a little bit of haggling there uh, in the sense that the guy wanted to sell uh, the whole thing, including shipping for 40 with the pants included. And I kind of said, you know, 40 you're offering it for 25 you just rolled in a listing just the jersey is 25 I, I don't have a use for the pants i'm sorry uh is it can i really just have the jersey and so yeah with shipping then we made it uh 30 and so i have my first belgian club team something i never thought i would say this time I also did my due diligence. I had uh, him sell me, uh, send me the tag. And so I could already check and I just saw the code is the exact same thing. If you follow the Europa League and the Europa Conference League, you already know which team this will be. It is, of course, a team that I will not be able to use next season because they're going nowhere this season in the Belgian League. But it is Anderlecht. The 1415 home jersey, and if I look at it, this is in a really nice, very nice condition. I have to say, I think it's my first proper club jersey. Now I have the Celta Vigo one uh, with the Condivo template, you know, the one with the arch on the back. Uh, I really like the crest, and I even think the sponsor is quite nice. But overall, what I like best is the sash. It's a really, really nice design. It's a really nice shirt, and yeah. If Anderlecht should make it to the semi-finals, I will at least use it for one video. Uh, if they get eliminated, I might use it for more. I think there's a good chance. Uh, the thing is that, of course, this is a double XL, so it's a rather big jer uh, jersey for Adidas. But I think I may pull this out here and there. So I gotta say, I'm actually quite relieved about this one. Yes, it's the biggest club in Belgium. Uh, I don't until Union Saint Julius came up. I necessarily didn't have a team in Belgium. I'm be frank, but you know, I oh, I always saw that Belgium is one of the most it is it is often a rather strong league. Uh, I know when Austrian teams play against Belgian teams, it's always a little bit so and so. Now uh, this is one of the few teams that are in 
playing in purple and i know there are not too many uh, big teams that have purple jerseys i mean being from austria is of course austria vienna and then i can name could name two more but uh then there's of course fiorentina which for me is probably the biggest team uh playing in purple there's real valladolid there's anderlecht uh Maybe there is now uh, Toulouse uh, is playing purple, but purple is not a very popular color. So uh, that's one reason why I'm quite pleased that I uh, that Anderlecht is now because it's a color that's not common. And I really like how the white and the purple pair off. I also find that the sponsor fits quite nicely on it. I mean, even the um, green square up there. I mean, it's not the prettiest sponsor, but the green square uh, adds a little something. Yeah. In any case, yes. I may be starting a Belgian collection. I still have not quite give, given up on the Union Saint-Jules, but I'm realistic enough. It's not gonna happen, and let's see where this will go. Any case, do you have any Belgian teams in your collection? I would like to know. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon, so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!